Hello everyone. I just finished installing a NAS32 board on my tricopter using CleanFlight and I thought some of the things I learned that are different with a tricopter versus a quadcopter might be of help to others. So here are a list of tips if you are considering this. Tip number one. I highly recommend that you watch Painless 360's series Introduction to the NAS32 on his YouTube channel. This is a terrific series that shows you how to wire and set up the board and basic programming in clean flight. Even though he's setting up a quad, most of the steps are exactly the same. Tip number two. Notice that the wiring, though, is different for a tricopter. Using servo mode, the servo goes in S1, motors, and M1, M2, and M3. Of course, you need to tell the board in clean flight you're using a tricopter. Tip number three, both the instructions in clean flight and the instructions from abuse mark for the board show all the props rotating counterclockwise. That didn't work for me. I had to use a clockwise prop on motor number one, the rear motor, for the try to remain stable. I would suggest you do the same. Tip number four, in clean flight there's a servo tab. Check none of the boxes on this tab, just make sure the servo is moving in the correct direction. If not, you can reverse it. In my case, since the servo is underneath the motor, I needed to reverse it. However, the servo was not reversed in my transmitter. Tip number five. If you're using FreeSky telemetry, and even though there are websites that indicate you can use the cell setting to monitor the vo voltage, I just couldn't get that to work. I had to use the VFAST setting to show voltage and it will not display of course until the try is armed. However, it is very accurate. It works very well. Finally, tip number six. If you're using a digital servo, you can change the rate in the command line interface. The default is 50. I, I changed mine to 200 which is the spec for my servo, but the servo worked at 50 as well. In fact, I couldn't really tell any difference. I have my tricopter set up with a FreeSky D4R2 uh, with CCPM. Uh, I do have the uh, LCDs uh, wired to it as well. But the videos from Painless 360's site explain all the wiring in, in great detail. So here's a test flight. It's bouncing around a lot in the prop wash, but you can see the tail is solid. I've not set the PIDs yet. Uh, these are just the default setting. Uh, hope this was helpful. Thanks.